my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the plants I have most enjoyed this month, so November 2020. And yeah, I thought maybe you'd guys like to see it, why I've been enjoying them, and maybe you guys get some ideas for plants that you might want. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the plants now. Let me know in the comments which of your plants you've been enjoying the most this month. And yeah, let's just get into it. This is the first plant. It's a Pemperomia angulata. I'm pretty sure if that's wrong, I'll put the right name on the screen. And I'll put the right name on the screen anyhow, just so you guys have some more reference. And you can maybe already see why I've been enjoying this. It's not actually in a pot. It's in a, literally in a like bowl uh, with its nursery pot. Uh, and there's water in here. I should probably throw that out as you can see. Um, but it's been doing great. So I've been watering it just every week a little tiny bit. I don't think it needs that much water, especially now going into fall and winter. But it has so much new growth, like shooting up. All of this going up, this, 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 these, and this very long shoot. It's all like m newer growth, especially these. So as you can see, it's just really pretty. And yeah, I've really been enjoying this plant because it's growing so well. It also doesn't seem to have any pests. I've been really inspecting all of my plants because I've had some mealybugs, I've had spider mites, I've had thrips, I've had, um, obviously fungus gnats. Basically, almost everything. Um, so, it's been really fun, but this plant seems to be uh, healthy. I've been checking all the leaves, the bottoms of the leaves, obviously, to keep watching it for um, bugs because, honestly, I really, I'm sick of bugs. Uh, so, but, yeah. This is the plant. I think it's really pretty. And, yeah, so I'm going to show you the next plant now. Also, the Peperomia angulata that I just showed you guys is pretty cheap, at least here. I got it at a secondhand store where they also sell plants that come from previous owners or from cuttings or whatever. And I got it for like 5 euros, I think, so it's pretty good. Um, then, this is the next plant, another very cheap plant, um, but it brings me a lot of joy nonetheless. And it looks really funny from this angle. Uh, it's a Marble Queen, and it's a pretty green Marble Queen. It does does have some marbling, obviously, um, but it's been in a pretty dark place, so as you can see, the marbling is uh, not super noticeable always. Uh, this leaf actually has very nice marbling. Um, but yeah, it's been shooting out new growth on these two long tendrils, and also to keep it uh, like bushy here in the top. And it just looks really pretty. I think here now you can actually see that there is pretty evident marbling. It's been growing pretty well even though I've been in a dark spot. Uh, I've been keeping a lot of my plants separate to inspect them and make sure they don't have any pests. Um, because, like I said, with the outbreak it's just stressful and I don't want stuff like that to happen again. So I've been trying to keep all of my plants distanced from each other. Um, but yeah, Marble Queen Pothos. So, really easy plant. I water this about once a week. Sometimes I let it just sit a little longer because I forget about it, uh, like most of my plants. And I've noticed they, most of my plants like neglect. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the next plant now. This is a really tiny plant. It's this little Tritoscantia, and I really don't know what kind of Tritoscantia it is. It has green leaves, on the top and it has a purplish color on the bottom so if you know what kind of Tritoscantia this is it would be really helpful if you could leave it in the comments um, but I'm really enjoying this one because it's been growing a lot like this little part as you can see maybe if we'll focus I don't think it's focusing but you can see it's shriveled up and I think the Sun uh, caused that to happen so yeah but whatever the rest of the plant is super good looking at first it was three uh, strands i got from a um it's a like a plant swap um but one of them died but these two shoots um 
this is one of the main chutes, and then this is one of the main chutes. Uh, and then they have had, this is an offshoot from the side of this one, and then here's another offshoot, and as you can maybe see, that's another offshoot. And then this one is the same, it has an offshoot right here, and a new offshoot right there. Um, so yeah, it's been growing pretty well. It's a really small plant still, but I just think it's super cute. Like, isn't it the cutest little, like, dangly plant? And I also love it in this little planter. So yeah, that's the third plant. So the fourth and the fifth plant are at my dad's and I'm at my mom's now. So um, I'll just talk about them and insert some clips. So one of them is the Raphidophora, Raphidophora tetrasperma. And it's a really beautiful plant. It grows so fast. I love the shape of the leaves and I love how fast it grows. I also just like the color green and the growth pattern. It's just all around a super beautiful plant. So yeah, I've, and I've really been enjoying it because it's growing so fast. I got a moss pole for it that I'm going to plant it up with and hopefully that will encourage even more new growth. So yeah, that one is just super cool. The last plant I've really been enjoying this month, obviously I enjoy all my plants, but this plant was also really funny because I just got it um, I think at the beginning of this month or the end of last month and it's really temperamental so it's a coffea arabica and when it hasn't had water in a while its leaves all just droop and you water it and then within like 12 to 24 hours the leaves are all upright again and happy and I just love how it tells you what it needs and I think that's really nice in a plant especially if you are a beginning plant parent like me I've been busy with this for a while now but still Sometimes I ever water my plants because I don't know always when they're thirsty uh, And you can use a water meter, but it's just so annoying you have to clean it between every other plant uh, every plant you want to make sure that it's clean and This plant just shows you what it needs and I really appreciate that in plants So it's like the skindapsis Frides that curl up their leaves when they're thirsty, but I just like a plant that tells you what it needs, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite plants of this month were and which plant of mine you liked the most. And I hope you have a really great day. Uh, there's more videos coming up about uh, sustainability as always, more plant content. And I'm also looking to do some more like fashion capsule wardrobe things if you guys are interested in that because I really like doing that. There's definitely a thrift haul coming soon with some winter things that I've bought. And I'm really excited about those things. So yeah, tune in for that. Subscribe if you want to see those videos. And yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it. I hope you have a really great day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.